Urban sprawl, the spreading of urban developments, such as housing and shopping centers, on undeveloped land near a city, as defined by Merriam-Webster, is the idea of expansion outwards and centers on development of rural lands, low-density housing, and an automobile-dependent group of citizens. In the city of Calgary specifically, urban sprawl is a part of life. We grow outwards, not up. Cities like Vancouver and Shanghai had to grow up. Calgary, however, is surrounded completely by open prairies, leaving developers plenty of space to create the family concept neighborhoods with large yards and parks that Calgarians have become accustomed to. For years, developers had the support of numerous complacent mayors, allowing them to push further outwards with these lower density communities. However, Calgary's current mayor, Nahid Nenji, is attempting to stop this trend. The Calgary Home Builders Association and Mayor Nenji are clearly on opposite sides of this issue. Nenji believes we should focus more on building a higher density city centre, further develop the land we already utilise. The home builders, however, want to continue to supply the high in demand suburban homes to the people of Calgary. But who is right? Where do Calgary's citizens stand on the issue? Calgary is a city surrounded by agriculture. Much of the reason there are fewer towns outskirting Calgary is due to the great amount of large land parcels utilized for farming. This rich soil that has made the Alberta prairies boom in the past is still an important part of our province. If the city continues to push outwards, it will continue to infringe on valuable farming land. Pollution-wise, urban sprawl makes people more reliant on cars. As released in a study earlier this year, Calgary is not a walkable city. Citizens here rely on their cars. In a city with a large footprint, a downtown-centered transit system, and long, cold winters, this is of little surprise to most. Calgary was not designed to be a walkable city. Calgarians, for the most part, are completely fine with commuting long distances in order to live the lifestyle they prefer. Densification of a city can reduce carbon emissions by up to 8%, as it supposedly decreases the need for long commutes. But if everyone drove a hybrid for their regular commute, carbon emissions would be reduced by up to 18%. If the city were zoned in a more efficient way, these long commutes would not be a problem, urban sprawl or not. Calgary specifically has so much differentiation in zoning that whether we grow up or out, long commutes will still be an issue. Currently, more residential zoning is on the west side of the city, while the east side is predominantly industrial and commercial. These developments that cater to only one type of zoning are the real problem. Instead of creating this distinction between area uses, Calgary would be wise to start the idea of smart sprawl. By creating more communities that allow for residential, office and retail, parks and recreation spaces, the need for long commutes could be minimalized, even though we are not creating an ultra-high density city centre. Even so, a high-density city centre would not necessarily eliminate a commute for many, as not everyone works downtown. People living in the city centre may very well then be commuting out to the suburbs for their work anyway, completely erasing the environmental argument against urban sprawl. These areas would also benefit people socially. Majority of people in Calgary like space. They like yards and parks and neighbourhoods. Many people are completely willing to brave a long commute for this luxury. However, by erasing that long commute altogether, by bunching these spaces together, people save time and energy. Everything they need is in close proximity to the area, work, retail, and recreation. Overall, urban sprawl isn't Calgary's real problem. Smarter city planning could take us much further on this issue than a dense city centre could.